is that? What are you doing? She's dead. Head on into the roadblock, officer down. He just got hit by a train. What the shit? Who the hell are you? There's another unit just went. Oh. Yep, drunk is a skunk, aren't we? He's trying to pit that trailer. Oh. Ho -ho. Head on right into another vehicle. That's going to do it right there. There they are. Let's see those ants. Get on the ground, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5 and LSPDFR. I did fix the uh, CompuLite. It's working. There's a new version out. Uh, hopefully, that will prevent our crashes and stuff that we were having last time. So, we're doing a sheriff patrol out here. I do have uh, a partner this time. A lot of you guys like the partner whenever I did that last time, so I'm going to do it again today. We're going to be focusing on some traffic stops, uh, maybe shoot some radar, take some calls, you know the basic stuff out here uh, in the county. Reckless driving call. Uh, stop the vehicle. Not sure where it's at. Is it that one right there behind us? I think it is. We're going to go ahead and flip around and see what that's all about. It's definitely reckless driving. I don't know what they're doing. They're driving backwards at a pretty good speed. Wow, dude. What are you doing in that Picador? Let's get some black Picador. Driving in reverse. That's what's happening. Okay. And they are not paying attention to what we're doing here. Oh, slamming the brakes, and they're taking off from us. All right, they're going to be in pursuit of that vehicle. It's going to be a black Picador. We're westbound Joshua Road. Speeds are increasing over 60 miles per hour. Looks like it's one uh, occupant in the vehicle, a white female. No further 43 right now. We're just uh, right behind them. Wow. Already starting it off strong with a pursuit in the rain. 80 miles per hour plus. Oh, there's a huge head-on crash. Terrible crash. And she's going to continue on. I don't think so, dude. That person is okay. They are okay. Wow, dude. We're going to get some uh, backup units involved in this. It's starting to escalate now quite insanely. We're south on West Joshua Road. There's a uh, unit right here. We're going to be pulling out. Nope, we're going to wait to join just like that. Okay, perfect. We're going to have to go in for a pit on this vehicle soon. They, they, they are starting to get a little crazy uh, handling these roads. We're on Sonora southbound towards Los Santos. We're going to drive for a pit here. There's the pit into a nearly a telephone pole, and we're going to box them. They rammed our vehicle. They're continuing on. Uh, Sonora Road, southbound towards Los Santos still. We're going to try another pit on the vehicle. I'm going to try to get an actual uh, request pit here. So maybe they'll actually disable the car. They were able to hang on to it that much. We'll try it again here. We're clear. We're clear. Go for it again. There's the pit. Accelerated through the pit. They're turned around. And nearly hit us again. We got another uh, unit involved in the pursuit. Now they're going for a pit. Huge crash. Wow, we that's gonna be it right there. That's gonna be it right there. Let's see those hands. All right, accidentally hit that. Let's see those hands, dude. Hands up in the air. She's got her hands in the air. She's given up after those multiple pits. And she comes to a stop. Wow, dude. That was craziness. Going in for the uh the arrest on her. No. Turn around. What are you doing? I'll tell you what, that's the truth. Okay, so he's going to go in for the rest on her. All right. Perfect. We got her in custody. Wow. Insane, dude. Insane in the membrane. Let's go ahead and uh, search the vehicle, see if there's anything illegal in here we need to know about. Uh, police nice stick and wire cutters. Okay. I'm going to get a uh, flatbed for this. You have anything illegal on you, ma'am? We're going to find out. Let's see if she has anything illegal on her. Not sure why she's running other than just reckless driving. Plane ticket and a pencil. Mm. Well, that's not going to be enough for me. All right, let's go ahead and we'll grab her. I'll bring her over by our vehicle. We're going to observe her and see if there's anything emanating off of her that we can tell. All right, so we'll go ahead and observe her. Get ID off of her. What's your name, ma'am? Why are you running from us today, huh? Megan Blue. All right, Miss Blue, just hang tight for a second. 
Megan Blue is her name. Okay. Let's see what we got here for Megan Blue, female. Uh, arrest warrant for failure to present concealed carry permit. Improper lane change. Uh, not on probation or parole. Battery on peace, police officer, possession of legal broadcasting equipment, possession of ketamine, and uh, vandalism. Wow, dude. Wow. So she had a warrant. Um, so that's going to be a non-violent crime. Warrant for arrest. Uh, however, traffic-wise, she's going to be getting uh, driving the wrong way, uh, evading arrest, leaving the scene of an accident, reckless driving. We're hitting her with everything we got here, basically. Submit those charges. And she's good to go. All right, you're going to jail. You chose this, didn't you? To wash our car after all this. What a rainy day. All right, looks like the uh, paddy wet or the, yep, paddy wagon's here to pick her up. Come on, keep on coming down. There you go. She's right here. Real piece of work, this one. Had an arrest warrant. So she's going to go for that. She's got, uh, you know, so many charges based off of her evading and reckless driving. Pretty insanity. That's not the right word. Pretty insanity? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hope you guys had a good week and into the weekend. And let's get started. Come on, buddy. Back into the car. We're just getting warmed up. What are you doing right here? What do you think he's doing, dude? They're driving kind of like garbage, aren't they? Wow. Okay, well, we're going to stop them here. We're going to run the plate on the vehicle, see what we got. It's going to be 6 0 William Paul Frank 735. I can buy one time, or two times. Target vehicle license right plate Christopher Smith. 6 0 William Paul uh -oh, Frank 735. A warrant issue. It's kind of in and out of lanes here. That's the reason why we're going to stop them. If they stop, they may not with after a felony warrant. Nope, they're taking off on us. 127, they're taking off on us. Me on uh, 68 eastbound. Okay, trying to get around uh, a vehicle right now. We're going to call this in. Nope, they don't seem to care. It's not considered. Oh, they're stopping. They're actually stopping, it looks like. They thought about running for a second, and now they're taking off. I'm not sure what that's about. Wow, dude. Okay. Well, that was craziness. I'm going to go ahead and order them out of the vehicle after they kind of ran there for a second. Hey! Okay, we got one running. He's giving up. He's giving up. Stay right there, dude. Watch the passenger for me. Moving up on this one. Okay, get him arrested. Putting him in cuffs. Watch the passenger. You're mine now. Watch the passenger. They thought about running for a second, then they stopped. I don't think I've seen that before. That was pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab him, move to the side of the road. We'll get the uh, other one out of the car. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Well, let's get the other one out of the car. Hey. Look at this. You out of the vehicle. Keep right your hands now. in the air. I know he's not the driver, but it doesn't matter. He's being detained. Anyway. Oh, he's going to run. He's going to run. He's going to run. He's going to run. Yeah, nice taste, partner. Stay right there. Stay right there. What are you running from, dude? What are you running for? Idiot. I love having a partner, man. That was awesome. Nice takedown. Oh, okay. He's got him. All right. We got two in custody now. What's this all about, huh? Let's pat him down. See what he has on him. We're trying to figure this out. I mean, they, they ran from us for a little bit. Not very long. Postcard, smartphone, and a condom. Okay. I'm not worried about that. Uh, Christopher Smith. Okay. We're going to go ahead and pat this one down. See what he has on him. I mean, I, why are you running that way? Uh, narcotic intoxication. Even though he's not driving, he's going to be freaked out on a narcotic. PCP, condom and a pocket knife. Well, that's why he's running. Okay. You got PCP on you, bud. That's not good. Edward Vartanian. All right. 
Let's see what else we got here with the vehicle. Search it. We got two in custody. Meth pipe. Baggy methamphetamine. A scale. Bags of groceries. Halloween costume. Oh, man. This is going to be so many charges. I can tell you that right now. So many charges. Wow, dude. Yep. This is going to be crazy. All right. Well, let's start off with uh, Christopher Smith. This guy here. He's got arrest warrant for inciting a riot. And he's got meth on him and uh, some other stuff. So let's uh, let's start with Edward Vartanian. Um, no, 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 no. Well, revoked. None. Arrest report for him. He's going to have a drug possession of PCP. That's basically it for him. He's going to be going in for the uh, PCP. I'm not even going to write him up for the resisting charge. I should get that. Uh, man, there's so much going on here. I got to find out what was in... I, I got to remember what was in the car. There was so much stuff. We'll find out what it was here in a second. So it was the uh, meth pipe and baggie of meth. So, okay. All right. On top of that, paraphernalia and meth. No. Paraphernalia and meth. Okay. Paraphernalia and meth for Christopher. Okay. So he's going to get the drug possession of methamphetamine. And uh, also paraphernalia charge. And then on top of that, he'll have his, uh, uh, not that one, nonviolent crime at the end, warrant for arrest. There we go. There's his charges there. Warrant for arrest and meth and drug paraphernalia. And that'll pretty much wrap that one up. Get this thing towed out of here. I'm feeling the uh, flatbeds today. All right, guys, check it out. You're going to jail, sir, for... Uh, I'm not going to get you for your little run he did there. Uh, the run you ran from us for a little bit there. I'm not going to get you on that. You already got enough problems as it, as it is. Uh, we're going to get you just on those charges of the meth and the paraphernalia and the warrant. You're going in for your PCP charge, bud. Lower arm has needle marks. Some interesting dudes. All right, that one's going to go bye-bye. We'll get back to our vehicle. Good stop on that one, though. The dude just, you know, is not able to maintain lanes, and we pull him over. He tries to run for us a little bit, but now we know why. He had paraphernalia and had some meth on him. No good. Road rage going on here. Oh, behind us, it looks like. Maybe that red vehicle. We're gonna try to respond to that. Let's see. I think it's that red vehicle just uh, took off on us. And try to catch up with it. For the road rage in the area. Trying to move the truck out of the way. There's the vehicle up there. Wow, thanks for moving out of the way. Yup, it's this one right here. There kind of driving like crazy. Okay, I think it's this one. Hard to say. We're going to stop him anyway. We'll talk to him. If it's not them, we'll know here shortly. All right, they're continuing onward. Oh, and into a car. That's how you do it right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and mimic them here in a second. We just want to make contact with them. We got a report of, uh, you know, road rage in the area, and this vehicle here was driving pretty fast and erratic so we're gonna see if they're the ones that we want to talk to they're not stopping okay now they're stopping okay we're gonna make contact with them see if this is the vehicle we're looking for if not we'll let them be on their way it's not a huge deal all right let's go ahead and run the vehicle's plate gonna be on a Gresley 271 Sam Henry 123 target license plate Gully James. Two, seven, no Ida, Sam, Henry, right. one, two, three, no, 1099. No, 1099. All right, well, let's make contact with them. We'll see what, what's going on with them here. Oh, I don't need my flashlight. It's not nighttime. 
Put it away. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Deputy Fabiano with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop today. Uh, you're, uh, you've been called in as possible road rage. Not sure what that's all about. He's agitated for sure. I'm um, smelling narcotics out of the vehicle. You have your driver's license proof of insurance of the vehicle on you, sir? Let's see some ID, huh? Let's see some ID, huh? Thanks. Okay. Up to date and valid. All right. Just hang out with my partner. I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna tr we're gonna see if uh, he's, we smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. Probably is what it is, uh, and we're gonna go from there. But we're gonna run his information first. Uh, no parole there, speeding, and that's it. Okay, well we'll see what we're dealing with here. How about that? Have him get out of the vehicle, and we'll we'll talk to him, observe him. All right, bud, do me a favor to step out of the vehicle for me. Hold on a Appreciate it. Well, go on. Oh, you're fine. Just go ahead and follow me this way, sir. Hands are shaking. All right. I'm going to go ahead and have to move him myself. Yeah, I know. Follow me this way, bud. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Come over here. All right. That's good right there. Sweet. All right. We're going to go ahead and observe him. See if we see anything uh, out of the ordinary with this dude. What are narcotics? Gully James. That's basically it. Just agitated and caution risk. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll do a horizontal gaze test on him. So you've been smoking today, dude? I mean, just be honest with us. I'm smelling marijuana coming in your car. Yes, jittery failed. Okay. Well, that's not good. All right. And we're going to go ahead and do a uh, drug swab test on him. And we'll see where we stand with that. What do we got here? I appreciate it. Marijuana and meth. Oh, geez. Okay, well. All right, dude. So at this time, oh, you're be placed under arrest. You have the right him. to remain ah, silent, and then you say it can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? All right, so the guy is under arrest now. So we're going to go ahead and have him patted down, see if there's any legal on him, and then we'll search the vehicle as well. And that is pretty much that. And, uh, okay, matches, sunglasses, pack of cigarettes, and binoculars. Now, if we look at the front of the vehicle here with our flashlight, you'll see what I'm talking about. We get a call of having, um, you know, okay, the flashlight does nothing, uh, of having road rage. He's got a lot of damage on the front of his vehicle uh, and the hood. So I'm going to say that that's the reason why. He was involved in some road rage. He might have hit somebody, you know, drug paraphernalia. There you go. All right, man. Well, this is this isn't good for him. He's got paraphernalia, a DUI for being on drugs, and then road rage on top of it all. Let's get all his information set to go here on Gully James. All right, man. So drug possessions, paraphernalia charge. On top of that, he's going to have a traffic violation of driving on the under the influence of uh, their narcotic and then on top of that he's gonna have um road rage if they even have that we might just give him leaving the scene of an accident because he did hit them let's just do that instead i'm happy with that those charges submit them all right get the vehicle towed out of here and he's gonna go to jail but that one was back to back wasn't it Get a flatbed for him, and we'll get a transport unit for him. He's going to jail. All right, here's our backup unit right now to take him away. Hopefully he makes some better decisions, man. Road raging on a narcotic, and then uh, on top of that, had a paraphernalia on him. That's all it's going to be. They're here to take him to jail. We're going to be all code for and done here. We'll be back. 10 8 here shortly. We've got a report of a officer impersonator uh, in the area. We're going to be responding to that code three. Suspicious pullover, actually. Let's go ahead and head over there to that partner. It's down the road onto the right. I'm off Marina, actually, so we're going to go this way instead. They want a code three 911 call of somebody being pulled over by a cop. They don't think it's a cop. 
So we'll see what we're dealing with here. We'll be en route. They want a code three response to it, so we're doing what they want. Okay, here's the vehicle here in question. We're gonna talk to them and see what. The, oh, it's a. What is this? Yeah, well, I don't know what you're doing, dude. Wow. He's pulling over. Okay. Looks like a dude in a cowboy hat, and he's uh, in a security vehicle. Okay, well, isn't that nice? What do we got here? Dilettante 2, 65 King George William 913. Occupy Target one time. Plate, six, five, Mario King George no insurance. Nine, Imagine one, that, no three, insurance. A traffic violation. Okay, we'll make, with caution. We'll make contact with the dude, see what it's all about. I didn't do anything Hello. wrong. Hey, dude, what's going on? Well, what you got somebody pulled over on the side of the road for, huh? They seem to be nervous and sweating. Do me a favor, step out of the vehicle Wait for a me. Sec, buddy. I'm just getting out on your side. All right, we're going to go from this. You have any weapons on you, anything like that, dude? All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to we're going to we're going to find out what that's all about. I'm going to pat him down. Because we got, you know, we had a call of uh, somebody pulling somebody over and we show up on scene. We got a patrol vehicle here. Small revolver, police dig dildo car key fob. Hmm. All right, you have a uh, ID on you? Okay. Let's see what we got here. His name is Mario Any. All right, Mario, just hang tight for me, okay? With my with my partner, Mario Any. Let's see what uh, we got going on with him. License status up to date, but we'll see if that's the case. Uh, failure to signal, expired insurance, all that stuff's there. Okay, so nothing happening with that. All right, so he didn't have anything on but that revolver. Uh, and he's okay to, to carry. Um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and search the vehicle. And go through that. What do we got here? Uh, Fedora, obviously. Uh, soccer ball, a briefcase full of heroin. And a briefcase full of $100 bills. Clown outfit. Well, that's not good, dude. That's not good at all, is it? That's not good at all. All right, dude's under arrest right now, I'll tell you that. Impersonating officer, one. Two, briefcase full of heroin, and he's got money. So there's a lot more to the story than that. Yes, there is. All right, well, things just got interesting, didn't they? Things just got interesting with this dude. Arrest report for you. And we'll see what we got here. So we have impersonating the police officer. He's definitely going to be getting that. Um, on top of that, he will be getting in trouble for the heroin. That's drugs possession of heroin. Uh, and that's intent to distribute uh, as well. I'm not sure if they can add that to this or not. I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't look like it. So those are the two that he's facing right now. Impersonation and, and the heroin charges. We'll submit those, and uh, that will be pretty much that. He does not have a gun permit, so okay. We'll be getting an arrest report on that as well. I completely brushed over that. So other possessions, the weapon. So it's going to be illegal possession firearm charge on top of all of that he was already dealing with. So Mr. Any's going to jail. Going to jail, and we're going to impound his vehicle as well. His little patrol vehicle here is going bye-bye. I love having a backup officer. It's awesome. All right, man. So you're going to jail for impersonating a uh, public safety officer. And then on top of that, you have the uh, issue of the heroin. Uh, and that's not good. And, and you don't have a uh, permit to hold your gun. So that's also another problem. That'll be that. In Sandy Shores. All right, so prisoner transport on the way. There they are right there. He's going to go to jail, and that's going to be that. Okay. Yep, to jail he goes.
All right, folks. Well, I think we're going to call this episode here. Son of a bitch. Had a crazy one. That's for certain. A lot of good arrests. A lot of good busts. Never had the police impersonation uh, call before. That's a first for me. And into the back you go, buddy. I love having a backup uh, or a partner. I think that's awesome. They do a great job. Ultimate backup's pretty awesome stuff, man. Really good stuff. A little bit more stable. Still having a few uh, instability issues as far as the game goes. I'm looking into. So hopefully we can get those things squared away. But for the most part, that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.